Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin', ballin'. Tony hey. cool go, it's no rules, bro. Ooh. I got two What's good boys and girls, we're back with another reaction video today and we have got Lancia Lancy. We got Lancy man. He's dropped 22 tracks today. You guys know how I feel about a certain amount of tracks on an album. Um, anything above 16, I get a bit annoyed, um, but it's Lancy, so maybe we can put up with it. I don't know, there's only a few artists I can put up with when they when they have tracks, uh, over 16 tracks on an album. But um, 22 tracks, I just wanna say, this promo that this man has done for this album is scary. It is terrifying. This guy is, I don't even know why I'm reacting to this, but I feel like, cause I, I love Lancy, but like the actual music he produces, the whole image and, and stuff he's portraying, that's something else, man. Like that's something I don't want to get into. Uh, very demonic, very, you know, he's, he, I, I saw like him promoing him in like a circle with lights around it. And he's got these ears that come out to here. And like, he just looks like a Playboy Cardi, um, you know, knockoff in a sense, but even scarier. So that's my views on him. Before we get into this Life in Hell album, even the title was ridiculous. Um, uncut reaction will be up on the Patreon if you, if you guys want to check that out. Raw, unedited, full uncut stuff over there. Um, access to Discord, all that. So go check that out. Um, other than that, man, let's hop straight into this. Life in Hell, first track we have is Spirit of X2C. This one dropped prior, but I still, I, I wanted to wait for the reaction to hear it, the full album. So here we go, man. If there's anything that I know about to see, X to see, if there's any- Why did I say X2C? It's ecstasy, okay, because he spelt it differently. I was so confused, but it makes sense. He knows, if there's anything he knows, he knows the spirit of X2C because he takes it too much, man, X2C. Oh, I Stop it there. It's not something I'd add to my playlist because you know it's not a typical Lancy I look for. But I see what he's doing. He's trying to set the tone for this album that people have been waiting for for a while. It's it's it sort of hasn't gone straight into it. You know, he's he's, he's trying to build a a mood in, in a sense, and then he's gonna go crazy. So, uh, Spirit of Ecstasy. I'll probably give that like a a seven out of ten, maybe lower, six point eight. Let's give it a six point eight out of ten. Not a miss, but uh, just not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it on my playlist or really listen to it. Track two, did it again. Lancy and uh, Jar Star. Never heard of this guy. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Oh, I just did it again. Tripping ACID acid. My man loves his drugs. It's not good. I wish they talked about something else, but it is what it is, man. I listen to it because the music's hard. It gets me vibing, but so much um pill taking and lean sipping and oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
This guy sounds like Lancey a bit, bro. If you listen to him into, into the accent, he got a UK accent as well. He got that. It's very similar, but that part before he came in was was scary. Again, he's giving me these. He's a little bit satanic, man. I, I don't I don't vibe with it. <laughs> Oh my god, that just did it again. Uh, he's got someone, uh, probably his mate or something, saying, Don't let anyone tell you shit, don't let anyone hate on you. You are the goat. Um, met people in the north, you know, whatever. So, um, Lancey is going up, I'm not gonna lie. He's, he's one of the best in the UK at the moment, you know, in that scene. He's, he's, he's popping off, and, and it's different. What he's doing is different. So, but that track, I don't know what he's trying to do at the moment with this whole. I don't know. This did it again. Not my favorite either. Um, he's definitely got way more potential than that. I don't know why he put that as his second track, but the cool, the outro was pretty cool. I'll give it like a a seven out of ten. Let's go to track three. World on fire. coming in as soon as he starts a track with <sighs> his best ad lib that <sighs> and the shay those two are fucking crazy goaded ad libs but starting off good And, and these things and these drugs that they do make them sort of uh experiment more maybe that's why they take them i feel like they're more you know loose on them and, and just want to do whatever on a track and that's where the goaded ad libs become noticed you know these the ha the sh and then you know yeats has crazy ad libs as well i feel like they really hone in on on just making crazy sounds in the background to make the vocals of the bass vocals a lot harder you know what i mean so that track happy he, he started to bring it up at the third track if it was around fifth or sixth i would have got pissed because don't want to wait that long for a good track track three world on fire i would give a uh what should i give that i said the world on fire probably about an eight point eight point five he can do better but that's that's a playlist it's the playlist man track four 12 to hour also, mind my uh, my nasally voice. I have a bit of, uh, not a bit, quite a lot of hay fever at the moment. So, just gonna keep sniffling. Let's go. Twelfth hour. <laughs> Also, I forgot to play transitions if there are any, so I hope they're. I don't know, we'll see from here if there's transitions. <laughs> Twelfth hour, nothing crazy, man. He's trying to provide us with a, a mood, uh, with a just a feeling. He's got 22 tracks, man. It's, it's a lot, so I'd give that one like a. <sighs> another maybe a 6.8 as well yeah not a not even a seven track five sun moon Oh, 
I'm about to call out that I'm in blue. Blue boy, why not the window? Fuck the school. From the driver's side. Rude boy, why not the window? <laughs> Truck, come on, I'm max. Big one lyric, come like I made it up. Someone died and put in fingers, somebody saying it's up. I know this shit gon' be iconic when it's said and done. sun moon where my voice is so nasally right now oh my god what are you asking? Huh? what are you asking? what are you asking? What are you asking? the hay fever is hitting bad um sun moon i would give like a, a 7.2 lancy is not impressing me like i thought he would um but there's a lot of time left we've got a lot of tracks so i reckon he's going to bring it up sometime during this album um sun moon track six colors let's see if there's a transition Oh wow, there are transitions. If I'm not vibing with it over like 1.30, I'm going to stop it, man. There's, it's not worth me wasting my time. Um, but this one, again, like it's, it's, it's a bit of a vibe, but it's not just there yet, man. Um, he's taking a long time to get into his fire stuff, man. I hope, uh, I know there's going to be some good stuff, but colors, like still setting the tone, still setting the mood for the album. Hasn't really fully got into it yet. I'd give that one a uh, colors. A seven, a seven? Yeah, seven out of ten. Lancey, come on, bro. You gotta bring it up. Girl, a gun. Track seven. Let's see if there's a transition. said throughout this whole song man I can't get it I don't know uh, girl a gun I'll probably give that one a 7.5 I really have nothing to say about these tracks it's just not where I want Lancy to be right now I want him to go to the 8.5s and ups because I know he can give me them let's go track 8 I feel like I'm me let's go these transitions are nice though. Also, I like this uh, this track because just to the message, you know, I, he feels like he's himself now because he sort of, I think he's found himself as, you know, this this guy, you know, he's developed his sound over the years. Now he's got this whole image of similar to Cardi's, but, but he feels like he's found himself, you know. She loves him because he's being him, not because he's trying to be someone else and impress her, um, which is cool. I like the message of this track. Gorgeous, yeah, she flawless, yeah. Um, I would give that track a 7.6.
not a playlist, but it's cool. Track nine, all night long. I've heard this one. If you guys want to check out the reaction to this, I'll have it here. Uh, she want to go all night long, yeah. Nice track, man. I reacted to that. Uh, let's get into track ten. Uh, pendulum, pendulum. <laughs> What is this song, man? Da, na, 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 na. Sampled a really big song. I've heard this before. anything new around him however he still likes to talk about you know buying new clothes buying you know that kind of stuff buying new cars and stuff so that's a bit of a, a bit, bit hypocritical there Lancy but it's okay this track is a lot slower in tempo but we'll see we'll see if it if it still keeps me vibing <laughs> transition to the next song but that one was a very different he gave us something different which is cool i like to see him changing shit up but uh in that case it didn't i didn't vibe with it too much but it, it was there it was a bit of a vibe uh bit, bit slow in tempo i like the sample though i'd give that a uh 7.5 come on lancy get to the eights bro get to the eights let's get to track 11 lkms let's see if it's a transition two one disappointed the mood is there but he's not providing me with the bangers for the mood you know to complement the mood he's got the mood of the you know life is hell the love is a, is a big motif throughout this whole album of, of just him saying that you know it's a good thing but it's really bad you know it's killing me slowly he's he's fighting with love and like he must have the, uh, this girl that he really likes and he just can't handle the love or you know something related but, uh, man, Lancey, he has so much more potential than this. I want to see maybe towards the end he brings it up. But so far, I'm a, I'm a bit I'm a bit like, okay, this is mid-Lancey. Throughout this whole thing, it's been quite mid-Lancey. You know, the Inside Out, the uh, his, his Live Evil album, I think he had a few really good, like, the Yachty track was a playlist for sure. I need those vibes, you know, some hype shit from Lancey. Track, uh, I don't know, LKMS, I'd give that like a 7.3. Track 12, Lies Will Set You Free with K Trando. Okay, this guy's quite big. <laughs> Yeah. 
Flies will set you free. Lancy, Lancy, what is going on? No, honestly, what the hell's going on? Like, this is not what I wanted from this album. Ah, I give it like a, uh, that one was like a 6.5. It's a miss, bro. And it's K Tronda as well. He's, he's quite well known. Uh, I like this vibe at the end though. Hopefully this transitions to the next track. Uh, but yeah, man, like, come on. Track 13, ride till you die. Two, go. <laughs> This sounds like uh, this beat sounds a lot like uh, "Can't Stop It" by you, you know. Bear got the bear got the bear I can't stop. At the boat, at the yurt, I can't stop. I just had to camp it up and then I fly. That's what it sounds like a bit. She Stopping it there, ride till you die. Uh, seven, bro, I was hyped for that and then just didn't live up to expectations. Track 14, try again. Uh, my nose, bro. So stuffy. is trying to become more of a uh, melodic sort of singing vibe artist whereas he just shouldn't go th go through that path i think he should you know he can start tracks like this for a solid maybe 10 20 seconds if he likes 30 seconds max and then get to the beat bro but he's he's providing more of a uh trying to be more of this vibe setter with these moods and and uh, just using the vocals way more than he needs to. He just got. He's just got to go hard, bro. He's got to come with that pressure. He's not coming with that pressure right now. He's coming with more the chilled vibes. Uh, I don't think that's suited for Lancey too much. But try again. About a, a six point seven. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna give it a six point five. That's a miss for me, man. Track 15, Lancey or Lancey, Lancey or Lancey, you know. Uh, I didn't react to it, but I listened to it in my own time. That track is fire. Grew on me, pouring up a red cup of panty, you know. When took her to Paris, then she took her panties off. Yeah, that's a that's a hard track, man. Um, I'd give that that Lancey or Lancey one like that's that's past 8.5, up to the high eights probably. Track 16, almost ready. <laughs> on the table like a judge okay this track is a bit better but not just that not even at that point that i want it to be bro this is like half of what lancy's capable of this track right here is half of what lancy's capable of the stuff he's giving us is like like an eighth of what he can do Almost 
ready for you. Okay, so I'm almost ready for you. Um, uh, better, a bit better, but not nowhere near where he's capable of, like a 7.6, 7.7 maybe. Track 17, She The One. He's more on his feels on this track to me, on this, on this whole album. Three, two, one, let's. That was better. That was better. She the one. He gave me more of those hyper vibes. You know, I wanted that. Um, and yeah, it was a lot better for Lancey. I'd probably give that like an eight, eight out of ten. And and I can't believe we haven't got more eights. I'm quite disappointed, man. He hasn't given me more than one eight, or like two eights. It's 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 just sad. But she the one. That was a decent track. Not even a playlist, but eight out of ten. Cool. Now. It's greater than then, track 18, with 070 shake. This is like, I feel like this chick is demonic as well. Or is it a guy or a girl? They look, looks like unisex, I don't know. But she's in like Madonna's uh, Frozen. She did a Frozen remix and stuff. But she's, I think she's part of this whole cult type, type shit. And I, I don't vibe with it, but let's see what they're talking about in this one. Kind of. like a six didn't do anything for me uh track 19 too hard to kill uh let's see this transition <laughs> from you know what i was expecting from this album was these type of tracks here listen listen in <sighs> there's some cooler than me that one i wanted that i wanted something like i, <laughs> I wanted that i wanted some of this you know like just those vibes, man. Give me those. He's on a whole different timing on this, man. He's he's getting in his feels, lovey-dovey. And then maybe that's his mood. Maybe that's what he's trying to go for. It seems like it is. That's his, like, life in hell is is more uh, talking about his love life and, and the problem he get, problems he goes through in a slower, you know, less hype way. And I get that. But I feel like he... He goes crazy on these on these hyper tracks. That's what he does, bro, Lancey. That's his thing, and he didn't do any of it in his album. Maybe like one or two. That third track, World on Fire, easily number one out of this album. But it's against track twenty, man. Too hard to kill. I'd give that like a six again. Uh, yeah, Casino Royale slash Thank You. Artistically on a killing spree on Damien Hurst That small talk is restricted to me 
versus B said artistic I'm on a killing spree like it's a killing streak or killing spree like Damien Hurst. I say the best gift on earth is being present. Oh, I, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I recollect could have had a baby at 15. Something say me cause I know. Thank you to who made me I was built a love. I like how he's, you know, he is, he's being present, saying thank you. This is, this is a good message in this track. And he thanks his, uh, his girl, his baby for, for helping him, you know, know how to love. Um, I feel like a lot of these artists, especially in hip hop, are, are incapable of that. You know, it's, it's all about, uh, having a, a roster and, um, there's just, it's, it's a lot of that. That's a big culture, hip hop, uh, bigger theme in hip hop and I think you know Lancey he's changing that with this track a bit you know he's saying thank you for showing me how to love you know it's okay to just have one one for you for yourself so um Lancey not bad man let's let's keep going I was out of mind like a blood diamond so I I shine a thank you all right Casino Royale thank you message cool uh but again the whole track itself probably about a 7.3 uh track 21 high grade Top of my cup through the smoke through the haze you could see on the wall I did my homework on the game I went high grade If I'm in the same place real fam smelling blood and they can't wait to catch a body catch I like this vibe man the instrumental is sexy bro din, din. It's got this like scary ominous vibe to it but it's it's just a vibe it's just i don't know man this one's this one's got that dark more lancy feel to it than the others have because if i didn't sing no song would have rubbed you just to get into her thong would have led to yeah it's high grade it's high grade top of my claws top of my claws Top of my class. Yeah, not top of my class. You know, we say class here in Australia. Class. Top of my class. Yeah, fire. Um, that track was a lot better. Probably about an 8.2. One of the better tracks in the album. Let's get into the last track. Wake up slash I'm I'm alive. Last track. Wake up, I'm alive, yeah. I don't wanna wake up, yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. The devil trying to make me feel like I'm alone, and I'm guilty. I let him take. I see my son's face and he even more. I see my daughter's face and she. guy is going to be the leading producer of the new wave uh he's already on like a lot of yeet uh tracks you know producing them now lancy he's going to be at the top of his game of, of the new wave sort of sound which is cool man we're, we're witnessing it right here and, and he's sort of new to the game in terms of like i only heard of him properly like on on yeet's uh last life album uh but yeah He's 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 gonna be he's gonna be up there, man. Uh, to tell me I'm the greatest. 
and it's just going to be there to check up, you know, or whatever, be on my side, me, you know, he's saying I'm there for myself. Even if you don't have anyone, you got you, got you bro. He's, he's, I like the message again. He's, he's, he's confident in himself. He feels like he's found himself. Maybe that's what this album is trying to show. He's found himself. He's able to love. He's, he's opened up a bit more, I think, which is cool. You know, he's being a bit more vulnerable on this album. Um, it's the whole message is alright. I don't mind the message in the album, but the actual vibe of the tracks isn't my isn't my vibe. So, uh, unfortunately, maybe next album Lancy will impress me, but this one has disappointed me a bit in terms of the actual sound we got from it. But he seems like he's he's found himself, which is good. Which is good. Yeah, man. I'm stop it there. Wake up slash I'm alive. Uh, <laughs> Lancy, bro. As I said, bit of a disappointment on this album. Not as much my vibe, but uh, yeah, what can you do, man? He's found himself. Maybe next album is going to be crazy because he, you know, he's found his sound properly. Like, I think he knows what he can do, but he, he just didn't really give it to us on that one. More vulnerable, but it is what it is, man. A lot of people might like that. A lot of people might hate it, but Lancey, cool to see he's, you know, making tracks like this. I feel like just got to... Give me like 10, 12 tracks, not 22. It's a bit too much, but let me know what you guys thought of it down below. I uh, kind of want to hear your opinion on that album, that project as a whole. Um, but I still think Lance is elevating. Uh, he hasn't really fallen off or, or gone down at all. He's, he's still on the trajectory upwards, which is good. Um, favorite track easily, easily would be Weld on Fire. Um, but yeah, oh, uh, that's excluding probably Lancey or Lancey and... Um, yeah but let me know what you guys thought of it like the video if you did enjoy man we much appreciate it subscribe if you are new join the patreon and i will catch you boys and girls in the next video peace